we live? What did he say? I can't hear him. He said not yet. But are we recording this? Okay, I cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> We're singing Mo Bamba. Yeah. By Chuck West. <laughs> Uh, oh, we can't sing it because we're not of the African American descent. Anyways, no. we got Jarvis and we got Rango, uh, gonna fight each other to the death, sword against sword, and one's just water. So, I got Rango in this matchup. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm just kidding. I got Jarvis. I mean, I'm lying. I'm lying to myself when I said Rango. Okay. I, oh Jesus. Okay. I, I wanted uh, Jarvis to win, but I obviously can't be biased in commentary, so I want both of them to play their best. But I want Jarvis to win. I just oh, like, okay. I love Jarvis. Nothing against Rango, dude, but Jarvis is good, yeah. I've known Jarvis since I started college because he goes to GGC, and that's where I started college. And uh, he used to kick my butt, man. Like, yeah. It was just destruction. When we had to play on one setup, eight-player smash, he would always win with Dr. Mario and stuff. And yeah. then eventually, you know, I got uh, near his level, and uh, now he's just he's just blossoming. Yeah, dude. And he, he plays a bunch of other fighting games, too, so, you know, his overall, like, uh, skill just, you know, blew up. Plus, I like watching, I mean, like, I like Ike, I'm a big Fire Emblem fan and all that, and Ike has actually two of the better games of the series, but Greninja is super fun to watch this match, dude, always has been to me. So slippery. He was honestly going to be my main at first, and I'm like, why is he so slippery? And I just did not play him ever again. Yeah, you know, I was going to actually come out and try to main him in Smash 4, and just, like, I still can't get a good feel on fast followers, but I think I might try to pick him up in this game, since I'm not really playing super competitively. Yeah, <laughs> just have fun, man. And that forward air, ooh, okay. Jarvis trying to gimp uh, Rango. Here we go. Down tilt to the forward air. It's going to the corner. Is the Shuriken going to be almost in the perfect spot? Man. Up air off the top. All right. So Jarvis actually bringing it back after uh, Rango having such a strong start. You know, more general comments on the scene. You know, it's good to see Rango back and some stuff. There at the end of Smash 4, he didn't really come to a lot of Georgia stuff as much anymore. Yeah. And he's had, he's had a, a mixed relationship with the scene in, in different aspects. But uh, always good to see quality players like him uh, out. Uh, his Ike's always something to watch and look for. I just wish everyone that's ever, you know, been prominent in the scene would just come back and just play. It makes Georgia such a strong region overall. It'd be really fun. Yeah, I mean, it already has been pretty fun in Ultimate, but... You know, I'm, I'm excited to see what Michaelis can do with this Pikachu that he's been messing around with, but he wasn't able to make it today. Oh, unfortunate. Um, Would add all the dads here. Yeah, we'll see what DRN does. Oh, it looks like Player 1 is back. Decided to come back. Uh, player 1's been here the whole time. After he lost, he went to go play Brawl. <laughs> oh, did he really? <laughs> yeah, I thought he, I saw him leave. He played like 10 trillion matches with Angela. That sounds about like what's always happened. So I mean, <laughs> Brawl's a better game, right? Uh, anyways, we got Jarvis in the driver's seat right now. 107 on uh, Rango. And Rango is trying to find his stock, you know. It's drag down to, that was supposed to be an up smash. He did that wrong. I think he expected the drag down to come all the way down. He can't, uh, that's got to stop at the platform. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what was going on. The, what? The run cancel f till actually closing it out, having that much range. I know, but like, Greninja was like, off the ledge, and yeah. that didn't reach the ledge the visually. Ninja wasn't Canada, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Rango hit him from America, so. Yeah, I, I didn't quite see how that hit, but still, going to take that stock as Rango. Dash attack, so, yeah. And it looked like uh, Rango actually inputted jump right before that forward air uh, connected. But it didn't matter, you know, that forward air pretty big. Yeah, I lied. It wasn't dash attack. That's something I'm getting, uh, I, I, I catch myself doing a lot, you know. Whereas in other Smash games, you see someone dash up and use an attack. It's either up smash or it's dash attack. And so yeah. you obviously know which one it is. In this game, when people dash up, most of the time it's like a tilt. And you can't really tell the difference just by looking unless you like have it on lock. Sure, but that sure. one coming with the down tilt uh, to the fair, getting that kill. All right, so let's see if uh, Jarvis can take another game, make it his 2-0 advantage, or his Rango gonna put himself on the board and make this very competitive. Not that it hasn't been competitive already, man. It's been a hell of a set already. Let's yeah, see what's gonna happen? Uh, interesting choice right here. Definitely must be matchup dependent. You know, Rango went for Final Destination uh, against Reflex. This time, going for Battlefield, which basically, when you think of opposite stages, you think Battlefield and you think Final Destination. So, I think this works out in uh, Ike's favor mainly because when Jarvis is trying to land with Greninja, he's gonna either have to stop through one of the platforms or input extra uh, buttons to get through the platform, and that's gonna give Rango enough time to shark under him and get what he wants. 
which is probably going to be an upper. But it's a small stage with platforms that that up smash is going to reach onto. So we're going to see if Jarvis can make use of that. Yep. And these dash attack frame traps looking like Smash or Fox, something uh, Jarvis actually liking them to in this game now. Looking for this forward air right here. Gets the falling neutral air. That one's safe on that cross up. Oh, the Wow. Yeah. It actually looks like it just scoops you out of nowhere. It Maybe really that's why he does it. Yeah, I think so. It's still unexpected at this point. I think it's something. Oh, my Lord. That forward tilt coming in out of nowhere, taking it from mid stage. Hey, man, no one said Ike didn't have power. Yeah. Very, very strong character. Has literally all the kill power you could ever want. All right, down tilt forward air across the stage. Not going to close out. And oh. trying to get that hydro pump, but it looks like uh, side B actually just goes right under it. But nonetheless, that down smash, I believe. Yeah. Closing it out. You know, I wonder, you know, he has super armor on that up B, but I wonder if him hitting him maybe made it slag a little bit so that when he tried to drift back, he couldn't quite get to the ledge. And then uh, Jarvis was able to punish it. True, true. Uh, not sure if that is a thing or not, but that kind of looked like it. I mean, it's definitely something to look into. You, know, you need to learn every character. You, uh, every character seems pretty uh, viable, especially in these early days. You know, eventually counterplay is going to be figured out. It's like, I'll do this against this character, but so far. Yeah, Carter, we live yet? <laughs> what happened? I don't know what that, that means, sense. but it sounds like, ouch, jeez. Oh, so yeah. it'll, like, change you from, like, four to two? Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll just make your speed slower. Jesus Christ. The speed test side didn't even load. <laughs> um, about how much you give? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was joking. Oh. Jeez. Uh, how many gigabytes do you think it'll take to run the rest of the stream? Who's Stains? Yeah. I was going to say, like, I have one that goes up to 15 gigs. I just don't want it to go over because I have a limit on my phone. Yeah. Anyway, not talking about technical difficulties. Got to get your own router. Got to get a recursion router. Honestly. And there's no chance the Raven's Nest Wi-Fi would be better with this few they people here now. They won't let us use it. I don't know why. Why? I know, I know it's true. I know we've, it, we've it, streamed tournaments here before, but you know, whatever. It's it's trash. Like, I know it's trash. I don't know. That's just embarrassing. I can't explain why that doesn't make sense in words, but it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Me using Wi-Fi today does not affect someone trying to use it next week. If, unless you have like a limited data plan. <laughs> now, if you give the Wi-Fi passcode to every person who has a phone in this venue, yeah, it's going to slow it down. That's what I'm talking about. And you guys will get to hear this great commentary about how good the Wi-Fi is. Are you not going to go back on a hotspot? Or you can just not stream this tournament because uh, it's something not rememberable. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Probably going to be Hyper versus something. I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say I do the finals. I do lose, I do winners, losers, and grands live. Because those will probably get you the most views on YouTube anyways. So. And I got to bet on those, so we need those live. So I don't. I can't I'll bet. 
I can't bet on stuff on YouTube. I mean, you can. I will win because I was here. That's true. You know, so, I mean, I would tr nah, I would try it. I will not cheat you guys. Whatever. Anyway, Jarvis taking that first stock right here, sitting pretty. Wait, I want to know something really important. Who won Midwest Mayhem? I bet. Is it over? I mean, like, it shouldn't. It's only I mean, the like Midwest, it's like, what? It's, it's almost seven, eight. Seven? Seven fifty? Yeah, it's almost eight. Excuse me. Is the Midwest even part of the United States? It's like half of the landmass. No, I'm pretty sure it's like Midwest is Canada. I think so. I think like technically, if you're talking about like talking to a geographist, 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 <laughs> geographer, geographer, yeah, geographer. Ge <laughs> I'm dead. Geograph geographer. Hey, if you guys are watching this YouTube video, please leave a comment and make fun of me. I just want to see that people have watched this. So yeah. please, if you make it to this point, say something. Nuh-uh. It's so racist. At what? At Fatality vs. Cat at what? Yeah, Smash Code, uh, definitely the GOAT for George Smash. I do want to come to a Smash Code. It would be a good place to get some commentary in. I Smash don't. Ultimate. You know why? Because I'll see Nova Pixel every freaking... Wait, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was just joking. Uh, but I don't... I mean, it's just such a... I, I was on that grind like two years ago, going to Alpharetta like every... Or not really Alpharetta. It was, it was Lawrenceville where the lab was. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... That's, That's a rough, hell of a man. drive from Athens. Yeah. Who do you lose to? You, my lord. Knocked him up. He's in winners. Yeah, let's go. He right. said he lost to Tyroy and who else? He said he lost Ken. somebody else. Kid. He's probably looking at the tournament yesterday, bruh. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. My name is Drake. Yeah, Jarvis definitely won that. Bro, I watched Jarvis at the last Smash 4 tournament he was at, and now look at his his glow up. He just glowed up. Hunter, good to see you, man. I, who? Uh, I heard about your unfortunate situation. Don't know who that is. <laughs> who? Is he like the Japanese Pac Man? Oh, the Link? Yeah, he, oh, he's youngling now? Gross. I stand pa Panda Bear. He's so wholesome. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> he does not know any yeah, bad I things about the world yet. Now, the, this is one of the characters that the run up and tilt is going to really All right, so we got Krom versus Greninja now. In case you're uh, actually watching this VOD. Uh, I know rango has been uh, practicing these Fire Emblem characters. I know, bro. It sounds like a freaking airplane in my ears. High key. I like it. I like that choice. Why does it make so much noise? Let's make the most played stage in all of Smash loud as hell. For no reason, he's gonna up him. Oh wow, it didn't even work. Actually, that was a, that was almost a sweet like I liken it to a sweet spot from Rango. Uh, pretty clean. You can gimp this so easy. All right, listen. You know how <laughs> we were talking about Ike's Ether and like, oh man, that sword's kind of hard to get over the top of. There is no sword for Krom. You yeah. can just jump off and hit him. As long as it's not right at the beginning of it, you can hit him. Because like even on the way up, he doesn't have armor. It's just the bottom. Hey, man, maybe you should coach Jarvis. You know I should. Hey, Jarvis. <laughs> Guess what you can do to Krom. <laughs> Anything you want. Krom's a crummy homie. Krom is discount Roy. Everybody thinks he's better than Roy, but I think Roy's better. I think I think Roy's better in some aspects. Well, no. I, you, let me, you, wanna, you want me to explain my rationale? Here's my rationale. Fuck you, card. So the reason that <laughs> Lucina was uh, better than Marth in Smash 4 and arguably this game 
is because staying at tipper range is hard. But people becoming coming close to you is not hard. That is literally what people do in this game. They get close to you. Yes, he does. But the sweet spot being in the close part, which is where people want to do, is get in because most people don't have disjoints. And if they do have disjoints, they're still trying to be close to you. It means that when you're playing up close to someone where you kind of naturally tend to be in a smash game, you're getting the strongest hits. And because the sour spots are on the outside of the sword, they combo better than on the inside. So it, it makes it a little bit better than Mars. So I, I think you don't really lose as much uh, as you do. And Roy's up B is better than Chrome's up B. It is, but that's true. Yeah, I'm talking about in terms of recovery. Yeah, I mean, if you just, yeah, you're right, but like it also just jump off stage and forward air. Yeah. We'll see how the meta develops, but I do think Roy is going to, I don't think Krom's going to be bad. I just think that Roy oh. will end up being better. But we'll see. There's a reason why Hyper uses Roy. That's another reason Roy is going to be better. Yeah, anyone can play him. Yeah. He's like uh, Kirby. They should have just made Krom the first character you play in World of Light. <laughs> and Roy. Oh, oh, and Jarvis moving take on. Take it over Rango, man. Good stuff from him. That's two big wins. I'm so glad I got to commentate that in full. Yeah, me too. But for real, we got we got his win over Nova. That's a big win. We got yeah. his win over Rango. And now Hyper is in winner's finals against Scat.